today I want to talk about um, E85 and flex fuel and kind of like why it's really good or it, you should always get flex fuel if you're looking to get E85. Um, also, I haven't I haven't really made a video in a little bit like this. So if you guys have any um, any good suggestions for good videos and good topics, let me know because I'll totally talk about just about anything if if I have some good information on it. Um, I don't. So what I'm driving now is a 15 WRX, but this applies to kind of the current generation or even generations in the past. But there's been a lot of um, a lot of motor failures on E85 for this specific car, and a lot of people warrant that to being um, shitty gas. And technically, yes, it, it it can be defined as shitty gas, but at the same time, it, it it's not really shitty gas. So what happens is. We'll call this E85 is 85% ethanol, and 93 or 91 is like 10% ethanol. So we're, that's how we're going to label it. We're going to label E10 as being 93, and E85 is E85. So what happens is you get tuned on E85 or whatever it is, and then um, the the issue is is the pumps aren't consistent for E85. So one day it might be E85, another day it might be E75. But also it can it can vary all the way down to like E50 at times. So like if you get tuned for E85 and then you fill up and you get E50, you know that's a pretty a pretty significant jump as far as percentages wise for your ethanol content. So that's why there's failures failures because it's not it can be labeled as shitty gas, but it also be labeled as the ethanol content's just low. Now it's not bad gas. It's just the fact that it's a low ethanol content. So that's where flex fuel comes in. Flex fuel, what you do is you build essentially a 93 or 91 map, depending on where you're located, and then you take it, you take E85 and you build an E85 map, and then the tuners like the Cobb flex fuel and most of the other ones that do accommodate for flex fuel, they have a big table and it has the ethanol content and then you adjust multiple tables throughout. So some of the tables would be your fueling multipliers, your ignition timing, and also your air fuel ratio because all those change based on E85. So E85, you have a slightly different air, uh, air fuel ratio that you're gonna want under boost loads. And also E85 compared to 93 is gonna want 30% more fuel. So you, you do need to be able, if you do go E85, you need to be, you, you need to be capable of pushing that 30% more fuel being through your injectors and through your pump. Um, so those are kind of the reasons why you want flex fuel is the fact that, you know, if you're running a, an E85 tune and the, the fuel is not consistent for 85% ethanol all the time, you might run into issues. And that's, that's the reason why I will not run E85 unless I'm on flex fuel. Um, if it's like a race car or you know that the, the ethanol content is gonna stay really, really consistent, um, that's good. But like out here in New York and even like on the, the Northeast, there is a lot of variances with the ethanol content. Um, some other really good reasons for, for E85 is like, you know, if you're or for flex fuels that say you're running an E85 tune and you go to, um, or you're, you're on an E85 tune, but you have 93 and you're switching to E85, you know, that's fine. You, you have a couple gallons of, um, a couple gallons of 85 in there, but then you're filling up the rest of it with 93. So one or two gallons of 85 and a 93 is not gonna be bad, but like one or two gallons of 93 in 85 is gonna drop its ethanol content. It could drop it down, you know, five ten percent depending on your depending on how much e85 you put in here in there so like having you know a few gallons of 93 with the rest of the e85 is probably not gonna make a big difference but it might make some difference when it's all said and done as far as the ethanol content goes um, so filling you know like filling up and all that stuff it just takes a lot of the headache out of running e85 the fact that you don't have to run e85 all the time you know you can switch between it's great for road trip so if you do want to run e85 you just fill it up and then if you run out and there's no e85 stations you just put 93 in you know or you can go halfway in between or anything like that um but some other things are like 
Um, you know, so there's there's kind of a really big stigma with E85. A lot of people say that E85 lacks the lubrication properties that gasoline has. Um, it's it's really highly debatable, um, and I don't want to tell you either way because I might be wrong. But as far as I know, E85 does have some slight lubrication um, properties that are different with gasoline. So going to going as far as your pump goes, you know there are a lot of pumps that are like E85 combat compatible, meaning that if you do run straight E85, you're not going to damage the pumps. But like in my car, because it's direct injected, or in this car it's direct injected, it means that your um, we have a high pressure fuel pump. So you have the fuel pump in the rear that goes up to the rail, and then the rail uh, pressurizes the fuel there. So that pump may not be E85 compatible. So far, um, there's only been a few E85 or high pump failures when running E85. So it's not a big deal. But as far as as far as I go, I will not be running. Um, E85 without flex fuel just for the fact that um, I believe you sh it's so much easier using flex fuel and so much safer using flex fuel because I don't want to get to 985 and fill up and it'd be you know E60 or E50 at the lowest and then you're uh, kind of SOL you're running some some lower quality fuel and the reason why E85 is so good is that um, it has an octane rating about 105 I think it's like 100 to 103. Um, because ethanol is scaled differently than gasoline because it's 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 got a completely different chemical structure that you can't really rate it on the same scale just because um, E85 actually cools the charge. So when you, you throw it in, ethanol um, makes everything cooler. So gasoline doesn't so by that it's like you're saying the ethanol content's raising but it's only raising because it's cooling the charge and the cooler charge you have the less or the more knock resistant it is so ethanol um, by itself if you're considering octanes isn't actually that much higher than gasoline but when you combine it with the properties of it being um, a cooler charge temperature that's what brings up the octane rating um, also the air fuel ratios are slightly different so you can make a little bit more power on those and also by running 85 you can increase the or advance the timing a little bit more because it is so knock resistant um, i think that's it for this video um, flex fuel i totally recommend if you guys have any questions please let me know and if you have any recommendations for stuff please let me know as well um, because i'd like to talk about a lot of things i just don't have the best topics for things. So if you guys have anything that you want to know, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks. Bye.